Hey, this is Mike. Look what we got here. The Raw Grow All-in-One and the reading 7, 5, or no wait, 7, 4, 5. That's uh, some good stuff. I'm going to give this to the plants. The plants need stuff. I happen to hit a spot where some of my plants are not going nowhere. You know, I got 5,000 K bulbs on them. I need is 6,400 probably. I do have a um, red spectrum bulb on them, but I want to see if I can get them babies jumping. Um, this is made by the MPK Industries. And this stuff's made from, it says derived from plant protein, mono, potassium, phosphate, potassium nitrate, potassium sulfate, cane molasses, ooh, good stuff, um, sodium borate, copper sulfate, iron, DTPA, magnesium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, and natural volcanic ash. So it's got a lot of stuff in here. Not just a couple things, but it's got at least over 10 things that I read. That's right in here that's going to be in here. And this says you only need, I think, yeah, it's a t teaspoon per gallon. One teaspoon per, per gallon. And this is a little thing. It says raw solubles. And you get this at www rawsolubles.com I think or you could order it from Dilzer I think I don't know if they have it on a, their uh, website but this is where I got this Dilzer Dilzer.com um, happened to send it in and we're going to put this to the test so over the next few weeks I'm going to put it over the test and then I wish I could dip it in there and get the stuff off there but Now you just shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. What I like about these, they kind of adjust. See, they adjust. You can take it off and adjust, and you measure out how much you want in there. And that little bit, look, turned it all brown. I want to take a few more minutes to shake it up. You know, make sure it's all blended in. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say this stuff. It smells like a barbecue in or something. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you the first plant I'm gonna feed. And probably won't feed the rest of them. I don't think that it, some of them need water, I think, but I just give it a little sip. This one hasn't been watered in a while, so I give it a little extra. And look how big that is. Next time you see the next video, or the next few videos. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm eventually. Just remember, they was just yay big. I mean, could be a little over six inches maybe, but barely little. They're almost closer to the pot. And then when we see it in a month from now, we're going to see how big it grown. Set it out in the sun. Up. You know, oh yeah, put it in the sun helps a lot. And, and speaking of which... I did put faucet water in here, and people are like, no, 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 don't do faucet water. But get this, you know, you leave the cap off for one hour after you pour in faucet water, all the chlorine evaporates. So, try put it to the test. Get you a glass of water, take a drink, set it on the counter for an hour, take a drink again, it's going to taste totally different. You know Chlorine is bad for your plants, but after a while, after an hour, it's good. So there you go. The raw solubles, right there. We're gonna put it to the test, and I told you what's inside of it. So look forward to part two in about a month. This is so you know how big everything is. And next month we're gonna go see how much how big everything is next month. See, it's no bigger than my hand. I mean, if I go like this, it's like two hands. There's the banana plant. 
You know, it's not that big right now. I mean, it's big, but not big, big as it can be. There's that. Here's that. See, it only comes up to the light. The Reaper. It's only a little bit. The coffee, one of the old coffee plants. Look at that, look. That's the chocolate pepper. My spiders have started growing since I put them in that bigger container, which you see my glass, I need to clean it. But they, yeah, they have started growing. So with this stuff, I'm about to feed them, which I'm not gonna put on camera because you know, it's, it's kind of hard to water something and hold the camera. But, um, the stuff I'm about to feed on, the, you're going to see a big difference. Look, there's the lemon tree. See, lemon tree is about two of my hands, just about, almost. So, and there's these. So, let's come back in a month. And show you what happens. To show you how much that they grown. There's a little system I did. There's a little system I did above my grow cabinet. You see a little hole. Hole that here. And it works between going into the hole. You see it bounces off the book and it goes down into the hole. And circulates there in my house too at the same time. So it does a double purpose. But when I, if I put the fan in here, it's just too windy. See, look. blowing right through that hole. I know I kind of trashed it a little bit, but my gardening obsession, you know, it's just too much. <laughs> but, yep, stay tuned to bigger plants the next month. I just watered them, so they're happy. With that good old soluble goodies. You know, stuff that the plants need, you know? And the minerals and stuff. Look at that bananas. A little leaf coming up. Well, it's gonna be a bigger leaf. It's always the newest leaf, it's always biggest. In banana plants, I've noticed that. Some good stuff. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you next time. Stay tuned to part two, coming up in about a month. We'll see the results.